bottom of the camera. Top of the camera. Seal on hatch one. 100 metres below the surface of the Mediterranean, the rescue vehicle Nemo is about to dock with a Russian submarine lying on the seabed. Okay, just let you know we're about six metres away, but we can actually see the submarine. But this is no disaster. It's part of a multinational exercise off the coast of southern Spain, which aims to safeguard the lives of submariners at sea. NATO exercise Bold Monarch is an exercise that brings together all of the world's systems of submarine rescue into one coordinated exercise. Our submariners at sea, in a very unfamiliar uh, environment to most of the public, which is deep underwater and can at times be a very dangerous place. If a submarine has an incident and a submarine goes to the bottom and is unable to surface, we have to go and rescue those submariners. The exercise is the world's largest of its kind, with over 2,000 personnel and large numbers of ships, submarines and aircraft converging in the seas of Cartagena. With rescue systems from Italy, the USA, Russia and Sweden all present, together with a jointly owned NATO submarine rescue system from France, Norway and the UK, as well as submarines from Portugal, Russia, Spain and Turkey, Bold Monarch offered the best opportunity to put the rescuers through their paces. Rescue people from a summary is a very difficult exercise, it's a very difficult activity, and therefore it is important that uh, nation, nation and navy from all, all over the world come together and train how to do it, because if that happens, you need to intervene quickly, and maybe it will be another navy close to this uh, summary will have to intervene. And in the end, remember, summary and our brother in arms, they have a common enemy, not each other, but the sea, the, the depth, that is the enemy, and we have to help each other. Having viewed the American and Russian surface units, the distinguished visitors were then offered the opportunity of a unique journey under the sea. Right. On this trip down into the ocean depths are the chairman of the military committee, Admiral Gian Paolo de Paola, and General Makarov, chief of the general staff of the armed forces of Russia. They took the opportunity to see how the Russian submarine Al Rosa is working with international rescue systems, the first time a Russian submarine has taken part in such an exercise. This demonstrates that at military level, notwithstanding sometimes political diversities, political challenges, at military level you can understand each other, you can work together, you can start help building that level of trust and confidence that eventually will also percolate up in the political level. So it is very important. Aboard the NATO submarine rescue system NEMO, conditions are cramped for the visitors. The three-man crew have to manoeuvre the craft into position above the Alrosa's forward hatch, establishing a watertight seal so it can be opened. Operating at a depth of over 100 metres, there's no margin for error. Once everything has been checked and double-checked, finally there's movement on the submarine and the hatch is opened. Alrosa welcomes his visitors aboard, giving them an opportunity to stretch out in the relatively spacious surroundings. It's been a unique visit that has cemented close ties between the navies as well as proven the interoperability and professionalism of the rescuers. Well, that was my first experience and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And to do it at, at, at 100 meters, having visited uh, via the NATO rescue vehicle, uh, made it a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's taken over three hours to complete the round trip to the Alrosa in a painstaking and precise operation. But should Nemo ever need to be used for real, it would have saved the lives of many submariners rescuing 15 at a time. The participants on Bold Mono will continue these exercises through the week as they further develop international cooperation in saving lives. This is Josh Fortune reporting for the NATO Channel.